hi in today's video we are going to be creating a niger you know wedding you know banner in corridor 2020 without further ado let's step into it so here are the pictures that we are going to use let me just go over and bring in the picture that we uh we we've traced already that we are going to be using so this is the picture right here so what we're going to do right now is to go over to uh you know this place and change the orientation to landscape then you go over let's create our background for the banner so what we're going to do right now is to make a copy you know move your mouse to the tips of the tip of the uh, image then you hold ctrl key and your keyboard slide to the other side move closer to each other then you go over and blend it all up blend it uh, aside just like so with your uh, what's it called with your transparency tool so right now what we're going to do is to go over and bitmap bitmap the two together locate bitmap the menu then you convert to bitmap good so right now the next step is create an object then you go over uh, to your color eyedropper to sample the color right here then you paste on this object so the next step right now is to blend the uh, vector objects go over uh, to your transparency tool then you blend the bottom part of the uh, of the image just like so good so let's bitmap all of these together go over uh, to this place okay convert to bitmap then you, it's okay good so right now let's double click on, on the rectangle tool then you power clip this into place go over uh, to object locate power clip place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into frame then you hold alt key and keyboard select the object release your alt key then you adjust the image just like so good so right now let's uh, squeeze that a little bit then you position it to the top good so right now all we're gonna do is to just bring in the image and you go over uh, to uh, the test that we type so this is the test that we are going to be arranging on, on the uh, you know design so let's power clip this into place then you hold out key select the picture then you adjust just like so make the picture a little bit bigger then you adjust it just like so good so our next step right now is to change this to uh, white then you hit ctrl k and keyboard to break into pieces then you go over and change that uh, to a uh, low paris so you can decide to change your own phone to any phone that you like but for this project i'm using uh hello paris for the test arrangement so right now what you're going to do is to go over and just bring this you know downward then you change it to black so right now what you're going to do is to change the name of the couple to uh, a script so as this right now we are going to be using edward edward so good can you see that right click so right now let's just left drag this to the top of the dummy release the mouse the dollar bar pops up and uh, asking you to choose from all these menus so what we're going to change right now is to uh, what we're going to click on is a copy of properties automatically changes uh, the name so right now here it is so what we're going to do now is to create love so let's go over and locate you know a rectangle to create an object just like so then you right click on that convert it, look at convert to curve so if you didn't convert it to curve you won't get access in maneuvering the uh, object so let's go over to your shape tool, double click this angle tool and appear the angle 
double click so then you right click on the line right click on the line the, with the shape tool then you locate you know to curve so right now pull this angle up pull this angle to the uh, left then you pull this angle a little bit up so I could change uh, you know a pattern of love then you uh, point your mouse to the tip of the object then you hold control key slide to the other side right click to copy paste then automatically here is your love then you wet it all up can you see that right click on the white so to make the outline white then you uh, make this a little bit you know intercept them by copying the love then you combine so right now you change it to white then you tilt it a little bit just like so make a copy make this a little bit smaller position this to the tip of the height just like so then you uh, slant it a little bit just like so make it a little bit smaller make a copy then you slant it just like that we just have to make it look you know real good so let's just bring in this change this to uh low paris then you make it a little bit smaller or oh, let's use trajan Pull it all up good so right now as this right now what we are going to be doing let's uh, reduce this to a little bit then you position that you know just like so then you bring down the dummy a little bit so let's position this you know to the head of the Williams then you position this closer just like so pull this down a little bit then you pull this low that up just like so good so what we're going to do right now is to go over and make this to name right click on the uh, white then you eat f12 a dollar bar pops up to change the thickness of the uh, test let's make it to it on by field scale with object then round then round cap it's okay automatically you can see that good so right now what we needed to do is to just you know uh bring that down a little bit then we we'll go over to uh what's it called convert outline to objects after that select the two where it all off then you select the down one as well wear it all up good so right now position that up then let's give it color so right now what we'll do is to go over and group it all up then you make a copy center it within the first one then you make the upper one black right click on the black as well to make it you know uh, then you hit F12 then you make the outline 3 here behind scale with object uh, round corners round cap it's okay good so right now what you need to do right now is to go over to your shadow tool let's give it a shadow good so right down go over to uh, this place change the thickness of the shadow to 90 good then you go over to this place let's make it 100 a little bit darker then we'll go over to this place and change the color of the shadow to something you know you know, not that black, but it has to be very plain to the background. It's okay, good. Can you see that? So right now, what we need to do is to go over and to object, locate, you know, break top shadow apart. 
then you group it all up again good we are good to go so right now what you need that to do is to go over and change the color of the love to yellow good so right now bring this a little bit thanks for coming let's make it you know go over and change that to try down thanks for coming no 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 that should be down change it to black then you position this you know very let's position this up pull it up a little bit good group it all up so right now we are going to bring in their pictures so what we are going to do now is to create you know two picture you know just like so so change it to white then you locate you know shape to hold control key on keyboard you know curve the angle just like so drag it inward to curve it good then you go over and drag this inward as well a little bit good so right now copy to the other side just like so then you right click on white hit on f12 to change the thickness to let's make it a six fill behind then uh scale the object hit okay then you power clip this into place but clear the second picture as well into place good so let's adjust it hold on alt key on keyboard then you select picture release alt key then adjust the picture just like so then you go over to the next one adjust just like so good so right now let's go over and think and ticking the uh outline so let's make it you know 12 good then let's apply shadow good can you see that so let's go over uh, to the shadow let's make the color of the shadow a little bit you know very blend to the background good can you see that good Go back to object, locate, you know, break the shadow apart, group it all up. Good. So let's position this, you know, to the bottom. Then we'll go over and create, you know, a uh, what's it called? The the uh what's it called? The uh dates. We are going to just pull that date right here. So each control page job to bring it to bring out of the chest then outline right click on this place to uh, disappear the outline then let's make it a little bit uh you know so what we're gonna do right now is to go over and change this font to try jam then it's okay enter from here then hit enter from here so let's shut in the December. Put the dots, then bolding all of that. Then you hit on shape to create, uh, reduce the tracking. Then you make it a little bit bigger, just like so. So right now, let's just reduce the uh, bar of the hardware. So right now, let's make it make a copy in wall. Then you. Uh, on fill it click on, on this then you right click to give it outline so it's f12 change the thickness to 2 it's okay then you per clip into place per clip into this uh, box right here per clip then select the out uh, the, the object position it so well then you 
pull this angle down so can you see that position the address are uh, the uh, dates you know down then you pull this a little bit down good we are good to go with that so right now what we need that to do is to just you know let's arrange the terms for coming hit ctrl k then you bring the coming downward and the coming downward just like so make it bigger then you make this for a little bit smaller put that to the center good then you select the whole thing group it all up then center within the picture good position that so well at the bottom good so can you see the outcome of what we created so far it's uh your uh, shape to position that so well good so here we come to the end of the story uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now bye see you in the next video